activity toward privatization. It just it looked like it was it, he was just moving too fast with a program that was untested and, 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 and uh, um, uh, the results weren't in. And he just he just took off with it and ran with it and didn't. Um, he, he should. What I thought he should have done is privatize one agency, see how it went, and if that went well, then you know well, we'll look at doing other agencies. But he didn't do that. He tried to take them all at one time. Um, he gutted uh, group benefits, uh, uh, operating fund. Um, he rushed through his education reform. He tried to uh, implement implement retirement reform without any real. Uh, study a uh, comprehension of what he was doing. Uh, to give you an example on his on his pension reform, I had a uh, a friend of mine who was an employee, and she was making uh, oh I guess around fifty something thousand dollars a year, and she was planning to retire at the end of thirty years, uh, and uh, under the current uh, under the uh, then current retirement plan, and it's still current because this retirement plan didn't work, um, she would have retired at about 39000 a year. Under his retirement plan, she would have retired at 6000 a year. She would have taken a $33,000 a year hit, and there would have been no Social Security uh, for state employees. So it was a terribly conceived plan from the outset. And uh, this is, uh, and seeing these things, I just had real uneasy feelings about what the administration was doing. Um, and I, I guess even predating all that, uh, with the BP spill, he was just insistent on building those berms, mm -hmm. those sand berms out in the Gulf. He said would trap the oil. Every engineer who knew anything about it was telling him, no, you can't do that, it's not going to work, it's not going to work, you can't do it, it's ill-advised. He did it anyway, $250 million that he spent on those bonds. Uh, fortunately, the money was provided by FEMA, but so what? Uh, within a matter of uh, less than a week, those, those bonds had disappeared into the Gulf along with the road graders and the bulldozers and the cranes that were on the bonds uh, to build them. Uh, they all that and the equipment disappeared into the Gulf, and he, he wouldn't listen to anybody, and that just kind of gave me real uneasy qualms about this man. Right, right. Well, that, that was uh, uh, sort of late in, into his uh, his uh, first part of his administration. That that's correct. That's yeah, correct. yeah. Um, so part of that you. you Sort of uh, either get you a pass or you you know sort of wait and see. Um, were you bothered by the fact that every day uh, he would go on TV, national TV, and and talk about BP and the oil company, and then uh, and then he's writing a book <laughs> yeah, that about his experience. A, a bit, that was also a big giveaway uh, into the makeup of the man. He was. Um, he loved camera time, and that and that evidence itself uh, so much during the BP spill. <clears throat> and um, it just uh, uh, I, I could see what he was all about at that time. Right, right. So, um, in terms of I mean, looking back, uh, where you th think his real successes were? You know, how, where would you pinpoint and say, okay, well, he was successful here, and there's no debate. There is you no. Know, he was successful. I'm not so sure I can point to any specific okay. instance of that uh, because, uh, uh, quite frankly, I don't know where he was successful. Okay. So, what about what economic development? Obviously, um, he has. Uh, you know, we were according every every week there'd be another every day there'd be another plant opening expansion. Uh, coming, you know, these special lease coming from his office. Uh, his economic development uh, uh, agency would say we were number one, three, five, whatever. Um, uh, I don't know where he got those figures, of, uh, of those high rankings, because the rankings I was seeing uh, didn't put us anywhere near those figures. Uh, those, and uh, his uh, a lot of his 
uh, ribbon cuttings uh, never uh, came to fruition. A lot of the plants never, either never opened or opened and shut down very quickly. Or, and, and even more significant, the ones that did open, none of them provided anywhere near the employment that he announced uh, initially. Uh, he would announce uh, 1,000 employees and they might, they might employ 300. And this was done consistently across the board. Uh, none of the plants uh, generated the employment that he, that he touted in his press releases. Sure, sure. Uh, so uh, there has been the argument that he has given away the store to uh, yeah, the big business. And, and that, no that question yeah. about it. No question. He has uh, literally given away the state uh, to business and, and industry. And uh, sure, business and industry is good. But when you bring in people uh, like Walmart that employ people at, at minimum wage, are you really accomplishing anything? Are you really helping the economy? And those were enterprise zone, uh, the Walmarts were enterprise zone projects. And enterprise zone uh, projects are supposed to be in areas of high un unemployment in order to help alleviate unemployment. And he was giving uh, enterprise zones uh, awards to Walmart for stores in, in uh, St. Tammany Parish, which is certainly not uh, an area of high un unemployment. 